Uh, this is the second part of the lecture. So, uh, I'm going to proceed by discussing the concept of basic anxiety. Um, so, after you have learned about the idea of of the need of childhood, uh, the, the need that, that, that arises from childhood period, um, when it is unsatisfyingly Evo, uh, unsatisfyingly fulfilled by the parents, it would uh, cause a condition that Horney named uh, basic anxiety. So I'm going to explain to you what basic anxiety is and how to overcome that and how it affects our personality, our personality in certain ways. So um, uh, Karen Horney herself, she described basic anxiety as a an increasing all pervading feeling of being lonely and helpless so that would be the the two key words that describes the idea the, the situation of basic anxiety so when you feel lonely and you feel helpless and you think that your worth is hostile then that would be the very exact description of basic anxiety so it's um horny also argued that uh, the, this is the foundation of all kind of neurosis or any kind of psychological disturbance that would cause uh, that would cause uh, a lot of problems in an adult life. Yeah. So because this anxiety has a very very deep t uh, connection, very deep relation with the feelings of hostility, helplessness, and fear. So this is the root cause of these feelings. And if it happens in a children, in the first onset of this symptom, uh, the children would feel uh, small, insignificant, and they feel helpless, they could feel deserted, endangered. And um, this is a um, very serious psychological problems that needs to be coped, and uh, it has a major influence in forming our personality in the later life. And uh, as a child, we try to protect ourselves against this basic anxiety. It will cause a massive uncomfortable uh, feelings in a child. So the child would, um, would try to um, cope with it in four different ways. And this is also uh, the foundation of our personality. So the way we cope with basic anxiety would determine how we react, how we form our relationship to other people in later life. So the first way to cope with this basic anxiety is that by excessively securing affection and love. And this is where a child or a person would try everything that they need to do uh, by doing uh, everything that the other person wants um, and they try to even bribe and threat uh, others to provide uh, their desired at, uh, attention or affection. So in this case, uh, the person would do anything that necessary to get attention and love and affection from other people. So this is one way, the first way to cope with this basic anxiety. And the second way to overcome uh, this uh, disturbing feelings would be being submissive and this is where um, uh, a person would protecting themselves from this basic anxiety by basically complying all the wishes from other people um, or particular person or everyone in their social environment in order to gain a attention and affection from other people so basically they're being submitted into everyone to be to be uh, being submitted to uh, other people and would try anything and everything to 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 satisfy them so that with the hope that this person other person other people would love them back the third way the third uh, strategy to cope with this basic anxiety is that by attaining power so rather than being submitted to people uh, this person would uh, would um, would ruthlessly 
I would say, would ruthlessly uh, uh, dragging people into their influence. Yeah. So this per this person uh, compensate their helplessness by achieving uh, achieving influence, achieving power over people. So they would have a strong sense, a strong need to be superior to others. And the last uh, way, the last uh, strategy to cope with this un uncomfortable feeling would be withdrawing from other people. So instead of being submitted to other people or threatening or aggressively threat other people or perhaps uh, excess, uh, or then uh, paradoxically uh, attaining power over other people, these people would be uh, would be drawing themselves from completely from social interaction because having no social interaction would give you no risk of being hurt, right? So that in this case, uh, this person would uh, try to become independent, would become self-sufficient, and they don't want to rely themselves to other people. It is because they want to satisfy their internal needs, uh, their needs by themselves so they don't want to rely any other else so they think that this way would minimize uh, the risk of being hurt by other people and this and those four uh, self-protective mechanism or the cope uh, the way to cope with uh, the cope with uh, to cope with uh, basic anxiety has a single goal of course to defend ourselves from basic anxiety and this is but the problem is that those are only a defense to against pain to avoid the rejection to avoid of being hurt but this is this will not give us a sense of satisfaction or giving us a well-being or happiness so this is the problem here so even though it would avoid us or produce the feeling, the uncomfortable feelings from basic anxiety, it would give us no happiness or well-being. And the cost that uh, that the person needs to pay, yeah, to implement one of those four strategy is an impoverished personality. So it would damage our personality quite significantly, and that's not good as well. And I would explain to you later how it would affect our personality. And even people who have psychological problems that often we call it neurotics, uh, they will they often <clears throat> use more than one strategy, one of uh, more than one of those strategies to cope with their psychological problems. And there are ten neurotic needs uh, that. Uh, that were listed by Horney uh, that she mentioned as a rational solution to one's problem, yeah, to, to, the, to the person's uh, basic anxiety. And those 10 erotic needs are including affection approval, a dominant partner, power exploitation, prestige, admiration, achievement, self-sufficiency, protection, and not a limits to life. So those a ten needs are uh, something that we fulfill, and we look that and we view that as a solution to our basic anxiety's problem. But the problem is that it won't make us feel secure. But it's just a merely as an escape way, as a as a way to escape uh, from the anxiety. So that would be the end of uh, this section. I'm going to proceed with the explanation why uh, and, and how in which uh, in what way uh, ne neurotic needs and also the self-protective mechanism would affect our personality and uh, horny would argue that would describe this process by uh, seeing a person uh, seeing a person's neurotic trends that i would explain later in the next section